happens when the skies above become a battleground. With the rise of drones, helicopters, and other low-flying threats, the need for robust short-range air defense is more pressing than ever. Today, we're uncovering the secrets behind the upgraded Avenger unit, a legendary surface-to-air missile platform that's been a cornerstone of U.S. military defense since the 1980s. But this isn't the Avenger of old. Imagine a system re-engineered with cutting-edge targeting technology, advanced munitions, and seamless integration with other defense systems. How do these enhancements change the game against the ever-evolving aerial threats we face today? Join us as we explore the crucial role of short-range air defense in modern warfare and discover why the upgraded Avenger might just be the key to safeguarding our troops and critical assets in a world where the skies are anything but safe. Let's dive into that discussion. As the battlefield becomes more complex, with drones, helicopters, and low-flying threats becoming commonplace, traditional air defense systems have proven insufficient. This is where Shorid systems like the Avenger come into play. Their purpose is to protect ground forces and critical assets from aerial threats at medium and short ranges. Ensuring that soldiers on the ground aren't left vulnerable to attacks from above. The Avenger air defense system, manufactured by Boeing, has played a significant role in enhancing the air defense capabilities of the U.S. military, specifically serving both the Marine Corps and the Army. Powered by a Detroit diesel V8 engine, the Avenger can reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour, allowing for rapid mobility on the battlefield. With an operational range of 275 miles, the Avenger is designed to provide effective protection against various aerial threats. It is armed with eight FIM-92 Stinger missiles, enabling it to engage and neutralize enemy aircraft efficiently. The Avenger system, initially introduced in 1988, was once a central part of the Army's air defense strategy. At its peak, 26 battalions utilize the Avenger system, providing essential protection against air threats. However, as the focus shifted to ground operations in the Middle East, the number of Avenger units dwindled, dropping to just nine by 2017. Of those, only two were part of the active duty force, with the remaining seven assigned to the Army National Guard. By 2016, out of the 1,100 Avengers that had been built, only around 400 remained in service. This reduction in Shorad capabilities left a critical gap in the Army's defenses, particularly in Europe, where Russian aggression became a growing concern. Recognizing the need for stronger air defenses, the U.S. Army began to revive retired Avengers from storage and refurbish them for redeployment. By 2018, 72 refurbished Avenger systems were sent to Europe, bolstering the newly established 5th Battalion, 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment in Germany. Looking to the future, the Army plans to establish nine more Shorad battalions equipped with Avenger units. By 2024, four of these battalions are expected to be operational with a long-term goal of transitioning to the more advanced IM Shorad Striker platform. In 2024, the U.S. Army renamed the M Shorad to Sergeant Stout in honor of Sergeant Mitchell William Stout, a Medal of Honor recipient and air defense artillery man. While the name has changed, the core system remains the same. The Sergeant Stout vehicle, based on the Stryker A1 chassis, offers enhanced mobility and protection for maneuver units. 
enabling them to operate more effectively across different domains. One of the standout features of the Sergeant Stout is its onboard target acquisition system, which works in conjunction with the Army's Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command system. This allows for quicker detection and engagement of incoming threats, giving ground forces a critical edge in the fast-paced environment of modern combat. The vehicle is armed with Hellfire missiles, Stinger missiles, and a 30mm cannon, providing the firepower needed to tackle a variety of aerial threats. The Sergeant Stout can be crewed by three to four soldiers and first entered service in March 2021, with four platforms already deployed. By fiscal year 2024, the Army plans to equip four Shorad battalions with a total of 144 combat platforms, greatly enhancing its ability to defend against aerial threats on the battlefield. The U.S. Army's renewed focus on Shorad systems is not just about countering drones or helicopters, it's about preparing for future conflicts where air superiority may not be guaranteed. In recent years, military exercises have shown that, without a layered air defense strategy, forces can quickly become vulnerable to enemy air attacks. Replacing air defense systems from the rear is a slow and inefficient process, making it essential for the Army to defend itself and its allies in real time. The Army's Air and Missile Defense 2028 report highlights the urgent need to protect maneuver forces and counter a wide range of air threats. To meet this need, the Army is fielding four M. Sharad battalions, focusing on countering drones and aircraft. For larger threats like cruise missiles, rockets, and artillery, while older Avenger units have served valiantly as stopgap measures, their limitations, such as a lack of armor and vulnerability to direct fire, have become increasingly apparent, especially during conflicts like the Gulf War. However, the arrival of the IM Shorad platforms, built on the robust Striker vehicle, signals a significant upgrade in short-range air defense capabilities. In an era where every second counts and the stakes are higher than ever, investing in these cutting-edge technologies is not just smart, it's essential for maintaining our military edge. But as threats evolve, will these advancements be enough to safeguard the future of modern warfare? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.